Welcome my friends. Today in this video I am going to talk about the new series which I am going to create on Nest.js. So I have been working with Node for quite some time and I always felt there was a gap in terms of a good framework which can get you out of the ground and help you doing quick prototyping. Recently when I was trying out Nest.js I felt it is a very good solution when it comes to rapid prototyping and then you know, making your application architect in a way which is modular in nature and very easy to maintain. So what is Nest.js? Nest.js is a progressive JavaScript framework which means it gives you all the latest and greatest JavaScript features. It allows you to take advantages of different design patterns and mature solutions which are already there in the node ecosystem. It is built with TypeScript and hence it has ground up support for TypeScript, something which is very good when you are a seasoned TypeScript developer. However, if you are not comfortable with TypeScript, there is no reason to worry because you can write JavaScript code as well. Nest.js has not done something from ground up. They understand that there are a lot of things which are good in the node ecosystem and are readily available. So they have basically built a wrapper on top of Express and if you want you can also switch it to Fastify. But the idea is that they have you know, one layer of abstraction on top of Express and if you are a seasoned developer then believe me the APIs are available for you to you know, directly work with them. One more important piece which I would like to mention is the architecture of Nest.js is very similar to Angular. So those who have already worked with AngularJS, you guys will feel at home. So why Next.js or rather Nest.js? It's very confusing. Yes, but you need to understand Next is for React and Nest is a completely different thing. But yeah, the question is why Nest.js? So we understand that JavaScript is everywhere, right? Whether it is um, web development, whether it is desktop applications, mobile applications, or even developing APIs in the backend, right? JavaScript is everywhere. But if you see, the front-end developers have you know, a nice forte of tools like Vue, Angular, React, which have matured over time, and there are very good structured frameworks available. For example, with Vue and React, you can easily use either the Create React app for C, uh, for React or Vue has its own SPA um, in a thingy. Then React has Next.js and Vue has Nuxt.js, which helps you with you know uh, server-side rendered uh, web apps and web pages as well. And Angular in itself is a small little framework for developing front-end applications. But for back-end, I always felt something was missing. I have worked with a lot of CMSs and also a lot with Laravel. And for me, the architecture was already defined, right? There was a very structured way of doing things. Although you have freedom to you know, architect your solution, but there were in a particular ways how a routing will work how you know your migrations are set up how your uh, ORM is going to work stuff like that nest.js allows you to do that okay it is not like express or coa where you know you are left on your own to figure out things and you know you have to bootstrap a lot of code for you to get started and become productive nest.js solves all these problems so the question is what does it solve for a developer? As I told you, Nest.js saves you from a lot of boilerplate code. It has its own routing mechanism. It has its own ORM configurations and a lot of abstractions which are available for the developer to focus on your business logic rather than worrying about the underlying imp implementation and architecture. It has a very structured way of Know, handling guards and validations and cachings and whatnot, which in a way is good because now you don't need to focus on 
the implementation of those stuff that is something which the framework has done and a lot of users have used it and it has stand the test of time what you get is a secured and you know configuration which is as per standard and by that i mean that you can use them in local environment and you can publish it to production without having the fear or worry whether your configurations were correct or not this is why i feel that nestjs gives you a lot of advantages while working with the node ecosystem and in this series i am going to teach you how you can work with nestjs and how it will help you architecting solutions which are modular in nature and it helps you write maintainable code as well